let's tackle the first question, what is BJ? So in the recent years, as you all know, the population of males have, has fallen sharply and the reason, the reason behind that is what, what humans are doing in the ocean nowadays. They are, uh, they are using the, their sonar and the ships, the, sh the ship, the ship, the noise that's produced due to the ship is, is hampering or it's disturbing the waves. Now let's see how, how the humans are doing that. Now, uh, next slide. Okay, so you see this ship, this ship, all the, or basically all the ships have large propellers which emit a lot of noise. Now these ships, they also use sonar, uh, which is, uh, it's a acronym for sound navigation and ranging. So this sonar is a device that uh, the ships use to scan the ocean floor and to know the topography of the ocean floor, so which helps them to find their way through the ocean. Uh, so this sonar, it produces high intensity waves, uh, which are like 235 decibels, I think, and uh, their frequency is 1, one kilohertz to 15 kilohertz. So uh, let me st uh, start with an example. So you all know how to see how they see the chumka or how they know how to Bats. Huh? Yeah. So bats, bats don't have eyes. They see through sound. So they use ultrasound to know their surroundings. So now let me ask you guys a question. What if I place a device among say 15 bats that produces, that produces sound like a bat? What will the bat, uh, what, what, effect is, uh, what effect will the device have on the bat? Yeah, it'll get confused. It, it won't know if, if it's a real bat or it's a human device. So it's the same thing with the waves. So sonar, it confuses the waves. Is the sound coming from the sonar, or is or is the sound coming from other 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 waves? Uh, so now impact of uh, so now sonar. So sonar, the frequency of sonar, is, uh, as I said, is one to fifteen kilohertz. And whales, uh, th there are two modes of whale vocalization. One is singing. They usually hum, but uh, very frequently they produce short clicks, which are like really high frequency clicks and it goes up to 180 kilohertz. So, jo, uh, waves are there. Unka or sonar ka jo awaaz rehta hai, wo thoda same same rehta hai. So, unke wajah se dusre bat, uh, dusre waves confuse ho jata hai. Now, uh, can you just adjust the click on this thing? Oh, oh. Go back. Click on it. Uh, let it load on this okay. Go right? Yeah. So impact to sonar. So as you all know that sonar confuses the waves and whales they tend to lose their way in the ocean. And sometimes they tend to go towards the land. And when they go towards the land, they they're just like they come up they come up on the shore. And this is what is known as beaching. This is what is whale beaching. Now, when they land upon beaches, uh, they tend to they te they generally tend to die because of because they are really heavy. They they have a lot of body mass. So this body mass it tends to crush the whale. So they are they crush they, they get crushed due to their own weight. And sometimes they also get dehydrated, which is which is another cause of their death. Uh, one more thing, with sonar, it's two thirty five decibels. So. Uh, has anyone ever gone on the street while it's Ganpati Visarjan or something? So like you know those people play loud music on their uh, uh, loud music on the big speakers. That's around 135 decibels. Now if you double that, that's a that's a that's the intensity of the sonar. Now imagine if a whale is like in even in a 10 mile radius of that sonar, what what impact is, what what will happen to that whale? It will completely go deaf and it will have physical trauma. It will bleed and it will, and since it will like it will die, die and it will come up on the shore. So this is what sonar is doing. And sometimes also the uh, the, the high intensity sound it tends to uh, tends to fill up bubbles in the uh, whale's body, which can also kill it. So this is what sonar is doing. Now can you open that thing? Still reading. Okay, so I'll just find it. 
Yeah, so I'll just give you a simple example, the population of the humpback whale. So these uh, whales, in the, especially in the North Arctic Ocean, in 1997, the population was somewhere around 42,000. And now, in, uh, somewhere around 2002, the population count was somewhere around uh, 6,000. So you see a uh, fall by 36,000. So this is because of the sonar. So, uh, some, some have died partly through natural causes, but it's still, it's the humans which are to blame, the majority. Okay. So this was, this is what sonar does. And, this is, and it's, it's not only sonar, it's the propeller noise that's caused by the ships. It's also the ship traffic. So sometimes whales, they, whales can't just go through paths that are occupied by ships. So they tend to take other paths and they just get derailed. Just get, uh, they just go, they just go off, off. Is that the main thing? Oh, oh, okay, it's, it's really over. So to understand the interaction of uh, understand the interaction of whales and the human noise, I made a string instrument. So this is like a this is like a rubber tube. Uh, this is a rubber cycle tube. This is a normal cloth tube. So the, uh, this uh, there's a unique whale that uh, it's so it's just one of its kind. And it, uh, oh yeah, it started. Okay. The, the video is coming from there. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be so good, huh? <laughs> okay, so you see this is a pack of whales and it's just traveling. So if you look at the ocean floor, some this is a volcanic eruption and this is an earthquake. So whales are generally not affected by the sound because they know it's it's nature that's causing them. But now if you click on the propeller noise. Now look at this, they, are, they, they start, look at this way. So it's like, take, which are that like? Of 
first of all, as we know, we can't give for now. Uh, technology doesn't use, it doesn't permit us to use light as a, a medium to scan the ocean floor because light disperses in water. Mm -hmm. So we can't do that. Well, let's see if we can come up with something new. But as for now, uh, the sonar, high intensity sonar is only used by submarines and naval bases. So it's like mostly the government, navies, government, and so it's really hard, it will be really hard to convince them not to do that because for now they don't have any technology. And if, even if you want to do that, you need some real, like some really hardcore data to prove that it's just so now that's doing that. So now there are a lot of other causes which are like, which are causing the death of whales, but we really need strong data to prove that. I just want to say when we were doing the biodiversity project, Kabir wanted to do something that is that maps more with his syllabus because he's in 11th grade and is also preparing for IIT. So he designed this project by himself with Pavan's and the Pavan's guidance, and they've been working together for this for the last month and a half month. And really well done, Kabir. Very well. Thank Very you. Well. Uh, this. Uh, Sonar, you said, is like uh, 10 to 15 kilohertz. Yeah. Okay.